But well before the case came to court, militants began a campaign against the Christian community in Salamat and Remat's village. Slogans were daubed on the village walls, stirring up hatred and calling for blood. As the intimidation grew worse, Christians had little option but to flee from their Muslim neighbors, with whom they had lived in peace for generations. They were resettled in the predominantly Christian town of Francisabad. The wife of Mansur Masih, the accused man murdered outside the court, was among the refugees. The Christians in Pakistan aren't the only minority to feel threatened by the blasphemy laws. The majority of cases have been registered against the Ahmadi sect. In this Ahmadi mosque, their religious practices are like most Muslims. The sect was formed just over a hundred years ago by Mirza Ghulam Ahmad in Qadian, India. His followers consider themselves Muslims and believe he was the promised Messiah and a prophet. A claim considered heretical and blasphemous by mainstream Muslims. Despite sporadic riots and attacks on them, the Ahmadis remain within the pale of Islam. Then, in 1974, Prime Minister Zulfikar Ali Bhutto passed a constitutional amendment effectively declaring the Ahmadis a non-Muslim minority. In 1984, General Zia passed the Ahmadi Ordinance, which went a step further, prohibiting Ahmadis from using Islamic terminology and from propagating their faith by posing as Muslims. The maximum punishment for both offences is three years imprisonment. Since then, thousands of Ahmadis have been charged. Nasim Saifi is the editor of an Ahmadi newspaper in Rabwa, a town in Punjab, where over 95% of the population belong to the sect. They do not accept the state categorizing them as non-Muslims. You see, I think the most important thing is that we cannot call ourselves Muslims. If we are not Muslims, who are we? After all, a disbeliever is not a known creature at all. Some people are Sikh, some people are Hindu, some people are Christian, some people are something else. What are we? We are not Muslims. Just to say that you are Kafir, everybody is a Kafir who is not a Muslim. The sect went to the Supreme Court, claiming the Ahmadi Ordinance violated their constitutional rights. But in July 1993, in a landmark judgment, the court tightened the legislation even further. It prevented the Ahmadis from reciting the Muslim affirmation of faith, known as the Kalima. Now any Ahmadi practicing his faith in public risks not just three years in jail, but a possible death sentence for blasphemy. Hardline Muslim groups such as the khatm e or Finality of Prophethood movement have been at the forefront of the campaign against Ahmadis. They accuse them of not subscribing to a cardinal article of faith that Muhammad was the last prophet who left Islam in a complete and unalterable state. 
Khatme Nabwat activists instigate cases against Ahmadis throughout Pakistan. These people are Ahmadis and they have come to face the trial and the charge against them is they have used derogatory remarks when they were offering prayer, Friday prayer, in their place of worship, in court. And why, the, how they have committed any offense? If convicted, the eight Ahmadis accused face the death sentence. The Khatmi Nabwat's regional leader is Mulana Hamadi. He has personally brought 30 blasphemy charges against Ahmadis in the Sindh province. As an editor, Nasim Saifi has to ensure that words Ahmadis are forbidden from using under the Ahmadi ordinance do not appear in his newspaper. He has over 40 cases pending against him, and when one came to trial, the judge took his cue from the Supreme Court by defining the use of words prohibited by the ordinance as blasphemy. He said that this word, Huzur, which you have used for the founder of the Ahmadiyya community, can be used only for the Holy Prophet Muhammad And therefore, you have committed blasphemy. That is the After spending a month in jail, he is currently out on bail. If convicted, 78-year-old Nasim Safi will face the death sentence. The situation reached new heights of absurdity when a case was brought by the Khatme Nabuat militants against the entire population of Rabwa. Excommunicated by the state, the Ahmadis have become a pariah community, which hunted by the Khatmi Nabuat, pursued even to their graves. Here they've had to erase words prohibited by the Ahmadi ordinance from their tombstones. Pakistani Muslim who requests a passport has to sign a form denouncing the founder of the Ahmadi community as an imposter.